my friends welcome to my channel my name is Danita and I'm super excited today to bring you my my second pin haul I've been um, doing a lot of purchasing lately trying to build up my collection and I just want to share with you the things that I've I've gotten and kind of the direction my my pins are going in so let's just jump right in so the first thing I'm going to share with you is some purchases that I've made um, like random purchases so I made a purchase off of a face three made some purchases off of Facebook from the weekend pen sales and then one from eBay so this one it's the Epcot 30th anniversary and it is a pin on button and it's pigment and pigment is definitely my favorite I definitely would love it if he could be my main collection but he's been a little bit harder to come by than than I thought he would be and then I got these two Kakamoras Kakamoras um, I just I love them I think they're such sweet little villainous characters on Moana um, and then I got this and I'm not sure if I'm going to collect Tiki Bird or not but I just kind of fell in love with his face, so I went ahead and, and got him. And if for some reason I don't collect him, he's a good trader. But that's my first little bit. That's off of the stuff off of Facebook and, and eBay. And then if you watch my last video, I got these out of my Magic at Your Door box. So Alice was my favorite favorite from childhood. I absolutely loved Alice. But for whatever reason, I didn't think I was going to collect Alice pins. But since I got these, I'm I want Alice pins. So this is going to be one of my collections. Thanks, Mike. Then then I think all the rest of these came from Marcy Mouse. Now, everybody was talking about Marcy Mouse. I've seen um seen her on all the videos and and she was mentioned in in the different Facebook groups that I'm in. So obviously I went, checked her out, went to one of her lives, and there's quite a few things that I bought um, on there that I knew I would be collecting, and then I bought a couple of grab bags as well. I love grab bags. I um, am doing Tsum Tsums and Dorables, and I will buy grab bag pins every time I find them. It's kind of like Christmas for adults because you know when you become an adult and you become a parent your presents kind of go down a little bit for for Christmas and birthdays Mother's Day if my kids are out there because only one of my kids remembered me on Mother's Day so you buy them for yourself and it's not a surprise so grab bags are, are giving a surprise to yourself and I love that so I'm gonna start with showing you the ones I chose so Rapunzel is definitely one of my favorite Disney movies and is definitely going to be one of my main collections. So a lot of, most of what I got was probably Rapunzel. The first one here hmm, I will definitely get the hang of that. Um, but it's Flint Rider and Maximus. And it's cute. Um, it's not my favorite favorite of what I've gotten but to make the collection complete I definitely think it was necessary and then I got so many pins um this one is Rapunzel with Flynn and these are kind of small um which makes them a little bit harder to see. They're a little bit more distorted. And I really like the bigger ones where you can see clearly the characters. So that's my aim right now. I went on the sales this past weekend as well. And I didn't really find anything that I fell in love with. I did buy a couple things off of Facebook, but they're coming from Hong Kong. So I'll have to, to show you when they come in next. Um, but I didn't find a lot online this weekend couple of things but the wanted poster and 
and I'm, I'm a big Flynn fan, so there's probably going to be a lot of Flynn in this collection. And there's Rapunzel with Pascal and the lanterns. And this one, this one I actually already had and didn't realize, so it is going to go on my traders, but um, I love this, obviously, since I bought it twice. But I love the glitter and the castle in the background, and I know there's some others in this series. I um, purchased another one, which I'm going to show you in a minute, but I love that series. And then I think that is all from that collection. So then some of the other things that I want to collect um, that I only have kind of one offs at this moment, but I know that it's, it's going to be one of my collections. So I love the movie Up, but I don't necessarily want to collect Up. I want to collect Carl and Ellie. I love Carl and Ellie, their love story. They kind of remind me of my grandparents. Um, they were just, they were an epic love story and, and my grandfather didn't last very long after my grandmother. They just, they were meant to, to be together. Um, so Carl and Ellie, and this is my first Carl and Ellie. And I just love that. He just looks so scared. Um, but he kind of always does when, when they were young. So that's going to be one of my collections. So I'm looking for more Carl and Ellie pins. Another of my favorite movies that I want to be one of my collections is Tiana. And that's from that same um, series as the Rapunzel. Again, I just love the, the glittery castle and the color. And So I don't have much Tiana yet, but she is going to be one of my collections. And then this one. So you know when you're going to Disney and you get the free magic band and now they're doing the upgrades? Well, my upgraded magic band um, ended up being the white castle band. Figment became an option after I'd already ordered or it would have been Figment. But I got the white castle band and I got this just because it matched that, but I think it's really pretty. pins is hard. I understand a lot better um, the hand thing. So the last one that I purchased on its own is Moana. I've already mentioned Moana, but this will, it's baby Moana for my collection. It's so cute. I mean, that's my favorite scene is her with the shells when, when she was a baby. It was just super sweet. And then finally, I ordered two of her grab bags. Um, I think it was like 10 pens for $15 or something, $20, something like that. So these are the items that came in those grab bags. Most of these are traders. I think there's three that I'm, I'm going to keep. My Consoli, and that one will be a trader. A goofy movie. So with this one, um, some of the ones that came in that are Star Wars, my husband has decided to collect, but he didn't want a full-on Star Wars collection. So unless my son sees these and <laughs> decides to steal them, I have quite a few little Star Wars, or a, a few. And that's from Aladdin. And then I have a second of the, the R2-D2. And I love Star Wars. It's just, I'm trying to keep my pin collecting under control. 
this is the, the Tsum Tsum Poo. I'm really new to Tsum Tsums too, and I really just like the little plastic ones. Um, which my understanding is that's not the popular opinion. The popular opinion is the stuffed ones, but I like the little plastic ones, um, which if you know me is a really weird thing to hear come out of my mouth because I'm not a plastic person. McDonald's Q. I don't know what series that is from. So Disney has gone food crazy uh, since I was last there. Here's a Daisy as a donut. It's super cute. The Leaning Tower of Cheesa. And I'm not really sure what this is, is referring to. So if you know what this is referring to, please comment down below and just kind of let me know. I um, haven't been able to figure that one out. You're probably going to tell me I'm going to be feeling a little dumb, but the little C-3PO. And then Finding Nemo. I mean, a lot of these are really cute, and they all seem really well made. Nothing um, bent or broken, like on my, my last unboxing, but they're just not not what I want to collect, but that's why I bought them. I wanted traders. I wanted to be able to participate in the trading that goes on on Facebook. So you can call me Mrs. Incredible. I almost kept that just for the saying, but I like the Incredibles, but it's not one of my favorites. Oops. Scar and the hyenas. And I guess the thing about these grab bags is they're small and most of the ones I've been purchasing so far have been kind of the lesser expensive ones because I'm, I'm new and, and I'm not really sure what I'm doing. Um, I definitely want some of the big ones, some of the interactive ones. So that's, that's where we're headed. You can, in the goofy movie. If you subscribe to my channel and hit that bell button so you can see when new movies come on, you can watch my journey with pins and maybe help me figure my way out, which that would be awesome. This one I also almost kept because um, we really like Goofy, but I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna do a Goofy collection and I'm not really sure about the whole food thing. I can't eat a lot of sweet foods. I actually, I have lupus and I'm following the autoimmune protocol diet in order to help keep the symptoms at bay and to be able to stay off medication as, as long as possible. On the upside, I've lost 50 something pounds and gone down a whole lot of um, clothing size. On the downside, I can't have a lot of snacks. I can't have a lot of sugar. Um, so I don't necessarily want to hang it on my wall either. Tinkerbell. I do like Tinkerbell. And then I have another of the little ice cream sandwich ones. It's mini. And then finally in those grab bags, there were three that we've decided to keep. Another Kokomora. I love the Kokomora so much. And I realize every time I say that, I think I say it a little bit different. But Kakamora, um, I love them. I think it's from the same series. Yeah, it's from the same series as the others. So I would like to have that whole series if anybody out there um, wants to trade. And then these are the ones that my husband's decided to, to collect. That is everything. Um, pretty decent pin haul, I think. I definitely am enjoying this, and, and I think that we're going to be seeing a lot more pins coming our way. But I've got my main collections kind of pared down, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through this board over here and get rid of whatever doesn't fit into one of my main collections so that I can. can 
try to keep it under control as long as possible. But I know I'm gonna collect Rapunzel and Moana. I know I'm gonna collect Figment and Elliot and, and really the friendly dragons, um, Duffy and, and Duffy's whole crew. That's kind of new to me, but I just find them really cute. So I'm gonna keep those and then Snow White. Um, Snow White's the first Disney movie I remember seeing in the theater. It came back and did a run, I think in 83. And my grandfather took me and I was really close with my grandparents. So I spent a lot of time with them, but my grandpa didn't necessarily do a lot of, of things like that. But he took me to that movie. And at the beginning of the movie, there was maybe a trailer for a Shirley Temple movie. And he told me how when he was a kid, he had a crush on Shirley Temple. Now, I mean, I was maybe seven or eight at the time, so I didn't really understand. And I don't really remember exactly what what he said about it, but it just stuck with me. And it's made Snow White definitely in my top princesses. So also, well, the Evil Queen, I love the Evil Queen. So Snow White and Evil Queen and, and different things from that movie. And I'm really enjoying making these pin boards. They're just broken um, shadow boxes. I go to Hobby Lobby and, and Joanne's Michaels, wherever. And when they break, the glass breaks, they sell them really, really cheap, like 75% off. And then I come home and my husband cuts cork board to size and I staple fabric over the front of it. And right now I'm hoping to kind of keep it all matching, but then later I may use some of these other frames I've purchased to make things for other rooms in the house. Because when I collect things, it usually gets out of control. I don't know, do any of you have that problem? Um, just wait till you see my lounge fly collection, just saying. But anyways, that's everything I got this week. I have not a lot coming next week, so I may hold off on those until I um, get a little bit more and do bigger pin hauls. I don't know, you tell me, what kind of pin hauls do you like to see? So, if you liked this video, please hit subscribe hit the little bell button so that you get a notification. Eventually I will get on a schedule. I know that um, that makes it easier for everybody, but right now I'm just kind of going as I have things and as I figure things out. I am um, still learning editing, lighting. You can see the really bad shadows. So I would love some hints and tips on, on how to make my videos better don't have to tell me I say um too much because I know I'm working on it but I'm really enjoying this journey and, and hope to take you guys along with me so until next time have an absolutely fabulous day